What's up creators, this is Dwayne Creates and today we're gonna start a new mini-series. So within the previous months I've been trying to help programmers get started learning programming. And I've also tried doing some live streams to show how the code is being done live while people can interact with me. I also post my day-to-day -day journey as a developer on my Instagram and Twitter. Basically I'm just trying to help out. However, I felt like I could do more, I could be more effective. So there are gonna be two new changes. I'm gonna start focusing on YouTube to reach a different and huge audience. And I'm going to create a programming blog. So why a blog? I just want to reach as much people as possible. And I think a blog gives me the best SEO capability so people could have a problem and search it on Google. Since a blog is text-based, their search query would be picked up and matched along with the content of my blog. And hopefully then that user will go in the blog, read the article, find it useful, fix the problem, and that's it. So basically, thanks Google. Also, some people prefer to read and others just wanna watch. So my plan with this mini-series is to go through the whole process from start to finish. I will show you my thought process and how I will approach building this website and maybe we can learn something together. Programming blogs are usually very simple because the value is in the content. As they say, content is king. However, since I'm into front-end development and I'm keen on UI design, I just want to give it that nice little touch. It's very important to have a good plan, so first I will decide on what type of content there will be on the website. I have a few different type of content in my mind. There could be a normal article which is less hands-on on programming and more about the reasoning. There could also be something I call a code note, which is a piece of code or a feature, so this is purely for teaching purposes. There could also be a devlog, which is like a progress update on a project, something like this video but text-based. There could also be a tag feature such as HTML, CSS and JavaScript, so each post will have one or more of these attached to it, so the user can browse by these tags. With that in mind, let's get to the whiteboard. Okay, so I think this part is very important because you can get to sketch some ideas we have and put them on paper. In this case it's not a paper, but you get the idea. Let's get the black marker because I like black markers. I'm going to draw a big black box. That's going to be our window, so this is going to be like a desktop window. I want a simple header up here. With maybe a circular logo. I will be putting some main links to the sections of the website. Here I will be putting some tags if there is space for them, so probably only on the desktop version. Here I will be putting the burger menu icon, which is normal nowadays. It will be used to access the full menu, just in case it doesn't fit up in here. So I think that the burger menu will only be useful for the mobile and tablet versions, but for the desktop I will just keep it there, just in case. I am going for a single column design, because I want the user to focus on the content, and not having to look around to find more articles and stuff like that, which I think are very distracting. I think that the user should be able to breathe. I want to do a big footer section with maybe some information about me, maybe a sexy photo of me sipping cocktail on the beach. And I think I should do a contact section down here as well instead of having to do a dedicated contact page, which I think is too much. However, I don't want to do a whole contact form down here. Maybe I will just show my email so that the spamming crawlers will get my email and send me a bunch of Viagra ads. Also, I think the newsletter form will be down there. It will be just a name and email form, so it should be fine. And I think there should be a button to learn more about me, just in case the user wants to know who the hell is writing this crap. So let's draw what we have so far. Let me get my blue marker, because the black one just died on me. I also think there should be some social media icons which will explain what I do on which social media. At this stage I usually try to find a name and a domain available for this website, but in this case I already have one, it will be duanecreates.com, but in your case just make sure to have a good name in mind and find a domain which is available. Now that this is done and we have a better idea in mind, let's go do some UI design on the computer. Now hold on, in most websites you might want to know what kind of data you will be getting. In this case we don't really have that much data, so I will just skip directly to the design stage. However, if you have a bunch of data, make sure you know how it's going to flow exactly and what you will need, because I think it will affect a lot the design. So let's go to the fun part.
Okay, so I just figured we jump into my computer and have a look real quick. This was created with Adobe XD, which is free, so if you are interested in doing some UI design, definitely give it a shot. This is the desktop design, which I have just created, and I just want to explain each component and maybe some reasoning behind it so that you can really understand my view. Let's start with the header. I was thinking of having some logo here, which I don't really have, because I guess my face is my logo, so maybe I'll just keep it a blank purple circle and make that my logo? I don't know. For this part, I'm thinking of doing the hashtags, maybe just the most popular ones, because I don't have that much space, so those will be my most popular categories. And for this part, I was thinking of putting the main links, so they will point to the main links of the website, such as the blog and code notes, etc. This part should be the hamburger icon, because that's common nowadays, which will open this side menu, where you have the close button in the same spot, and you will still have the main sections again, and then here you will have all the hashtags, so all the tags. The side menu will be the same on the mobile and tablet version, however, they should be bigger, maybe even a full screen menu on the mobile. This part will have a slider with the featured post, they might be the most popular or something. I might have to add some kind of box to it, so for example here, and you will have a latest posts for example something like that which will obviously have a better color maybe something like that we'll just have to see about it then we just have some tags about that post and you can even click one of these tags to go into that browse page you have the title a summary which is a short part of the blog then you have the date but i don't want a formal date i prefer to have like a casual date like today yesterday and then if it's very old, it will be a normal date. An approximation of how long it will take you. I think it will motivate people to read. Then here you have a read button. In this case, it will be read article or read tutorial so that you can also know what type of post it is without having to make another one like this. And we have some sections here. So we have the normal blogs, which could be articles. They all follow the same kind of structure as the slider. However, these ones are a little more compact then you have the same design for the next section and another section here this should be also under each one but i just forgot to add that then you will have this beautiful footer where you have my face and you can see that there's a diagonal line here so it adds a little more professional look and it makes it less boring so then you have this email then we will have the newsletter section with a very simple form this button should be slightly rounded a very small brief description about me with the button to take you to the about page and then i will have something like this where i explain what i do on each social media and you should follow me on your favorite one then you have the social icons again here these are clickable of course this just means that it's active right now that's why it has that little circle even the email it's pretending to be active right now and even this one that's why it's purple this is when you click this more articles button so you will have more articles and then you will have like a pagination here all the articles something like that as you can see i don't go into super high fidelity here i don't really care too much about just perfect spaces or anything like that since i'm going to be the same person who is developing this design I understand what needs to be different. This is more to have a better idea of how the colors will look and how the structure of the website will feel. This is where you read the article. So you have a huge title, maybe a banner, the same information here, then you read the article. But then here I just made like a slider again. With this website, I'm going for an iterative release cycle. So I will release a minimum version, then I get some feedback from the users and then I will adjust as I go along. If you see something you don't like, just let me know. And this is like a prototype, I'm not sure about this. And then we have a links page. Most of this is because of Instagram, because you can only post one link. So I will put this link in my profile description and then people can access all the links. This is the about section or something like that. Usually when the websites are more complicated, I do a mobile and tablet version as well. But for this one, I just decided to make a very simple mobile slash tablet version just so that I have an idea. And that will look something like this. 
So everything will be a slider as you can see. We have more articles and the footer will be one column with sections underneath each other. Um, I think that I don't really need to make the mobile version of these because it's pretty obvious and since I'm doing it for myself, like I said before, then I don't really need to go into super high detail to explain everything since I already know how I'm going to do it in my mind. But like this, I just wanted to give you an idea of my workflow from my design stage before I start coding the actual website. Okay, so that's it for part one of this mini series. We already went from idea to design in one video, so the next one will be about implementing it. So yeah, with code. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to let the YouTubes know what's up in the hood. And don't forget to click that beautiful subscribe button with notification, of course, to be notified when I upload the second part of this video in 2024. Just kidding, it will be soon. Thanks for watching and see you next time.